there's the Dominator, Holly Dominator EFI system. It's a much bigger unit, <laughs> heavier, unfortunately, than the Holly HP, but it's got tons of additional I.O., so I'll be able to monitor all kinds of different things and control additional things, which I think will come in really handy over time. So, anyway, it's arrived. It's a brand new unit, and uh, look forward to uh, starting to wire it in in the not-too-distant future. So I'm working on the mirrors, as I said, and these other parts. You know, I keep on forgetting how many iterations it takes to get something really dialed. Um, you know, these I've already done. I, uh, I did two coats of the epoxy after sanding it down, and then I had to use some putty to fill in some uh, chips and abrasions from just 30 years of use. And then I shot it again with the epoxy last night and uh, you know I'm gonna need to sand it and shoot it again them again they're just you know they're sanding scratches looking through there's still some chips that I missed and uh, you know it's the usual thing right we're just until you paint it you really in the surfaces nice and shiny you can't really see how good a job you've done no matter how carefully you do the uh, the prep you know, these things are almost perfect. Uh, they have, I have to shoot them with gray epoxy uh, today. But again, there's just a really odd little blemish in them that I'm not massively happy with. These, you know, it was fading to darkness last night and I was trying to get these done. I like to spray them outside. I don't like to do much painting inside the garage anymore because the car is going to get damaged by the overspray. So. Anyway, these things are almost perfect. You can't see with the camera, but I can see there's just a little bit of unevenness in the painting. Again, I was shooting it outside just after the sun had set and I really couldn't see what I was doing. And unfortunately, it's been like shitty winter weather, so I had a, finally had a nice day yesterday to paint them and then today it's cold and rainy. So I'll, I'll get at this again, I'll give the mirrors and these window frames another shot of black after I give them a very light 600 grit sanding and then I'll get these into gray primer today and uh, tomorrow into silver and clear coated you know it's, as I said it's been a while since I've been doing the body work and you sort of get into a groove and then you get out of it and then you gotta sort of get back into it again get the equipment dialed up and then you know I've, I'll have more painting to do before the end of this project but I'm sort of slowly running out of things to uh, to do like this which is good. So the uh, um, painting went well. It takes a little while to get back into the routine, but I got the uh, silver, or sort of the, 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 the gray epoxy primer on after the black, and then I got the silver base on for three coats, and I got the clear on for three. So these are looking good. I'm happy. They are the uh, transition molding to the front spoiler. And now, I'm starting to work on the uh, air intake system. So um, this is the back plate that I'm going to cut two-inch circular holes in to uh, to mount the uh, the runners. And I'm uh, taking everything off the intakes here, and I'm going to put the new colors on and then glue the runners together with the Loctite 638 adhesive that I've just got my fingers on. So the mirrors turned out. I think really well, except there's one, one spot um, on the far side over here. There's a tiny amount of junk. I don't really want to handle these yet. Uh, epoxy takes a couple of days before it really starts to get hard. Um, the surface is absolutely smooth and that's what, uh, what I wanted to see. Um, it's actually, you know, I put the epoxy on fairly thick for the final two coats and uh, but it laid down really smooth which is nice sometimes it tends to get a little bit lumpy it's a very thick paint but this laid down really smooth and um, it's actually shinier than I want it to be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a week until it's good and hard same with these they, they, they turned out pretty well but I'm going to take some you know thousand fifteen hundred to two thousand grit wet sanding to them I did that to the brake servo. I wanted a particular look, and um, basically, and then and then polish it. So you end up with uh, when you polish 
um, this black epoxy. It's not super glossy the way you would get with uh, like a clear coat. Um, you end up with sort of a, a nice semi-gloss look. Yeah, maybe actually a little duller than this, which is fine by me. Like I said, I'm looking for something slightly less bright than that. So it'll allow me to get rid of the little tiny amount of junk on the inside of the passenger mirror and uh, get the finish on all these parts sort of uh, identical, which is what I'm looking to do. So these are all polished up now. I used um, some metal polishing compound with some, I went 400 grit, 600 grit, and then uh, triple O, um, triple X um, steel wool with the uh, metal polishing compound and give them a very fine brushed look, so they look awesome. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the collars and turning them down a little bit. Um, the um, These things need to be 48.3 and they're currently 47.8 so I gotta kind of work the magic on them a bit so basically I'm just gonna take them in and I'm worrying about uh, you know, getting a loose fit, not a super tight fit, so I got some play on these things. And uh, I'll do each of the four collars, get them out to 48.3, and then I'm uh, I'm good to go. I'll be able to uh, mount them and then glue them. Well, mission accomplished, or almost accomplished. I got the uh, other eighth inch plate that four inch wide plate cut so that the horns will fit through it and uh, then I'll sort of that becomes the basis of the box. The reason why it's asymmetrical is the um, this mounts uh, sorry little gymnastics here uh, this mounts here so my fuel pressure regulator is um, at one end and then uh, we'll see exactly how I'm gonna I haven't really figured it out but so basically the the air box I'll just zoom out a little bit here so the air box is gonna come forward and um, you know square off so this will all be an air box with a um, removable top and then down this end will be a four inch um, tube that goes down to a, an air filter and a scoop to, to suck in air. And the scoop I can take on and off depending on whether I'm dry weather performance or not. Um, but it's nice to get pressurized air at speed to sort of act as a bit of a supercharging effect. So the box will come out and then uh, to about here and then down. Um, and uh, anyway, so it looks good. I'm just going to glue it all together, the collars. Uh, on both ends, I need to uh, put the uh, adhesive in and um, lock everything into place now that I've, you know, test fitted everything and got it all done this weekend. Really happy.